in this video we are going to discuss about the concept of uh, set theory and the topic of discussion will be to apply commutative properties of union and commutative property of intersection on two sets now what is commutative property of union if there are any two sets a and b then commutative property of union is a union b is equal to b union a now we are going to verify this property in various problems so question number one is if a is equal to 1 3 5 7 b is equal to 2 3 5 7 find a union b now a union b is equal to the set a which is 1 3 5 7 this one 1 3 5 7 union the set b which is 2 3 5 7 2 3 5 7 so we have to we have to find the union of these two sets now union means you have to combine the elements of both these sets a and b now for that write all the elements of a and of b in a single set keeping in mind that we are not going to repeat an element twice for example one is present in set a so you will write one over here then you have got 2 in set B. So write 2 over here because I am combining the elements of A and B. Now we have got 2 in set B but we don't have 2 in set A. But 2 will be written in the result of A union and B. Then moving towards the next number 3 which is present in A and it is also present in B but observe that we have written 3 only once in the result of A union B then we have 5 4 is missing in both the sets 5 is present in the set A 5 is also present in the set B but write 5 only once then we have 7 in set A and 7 in set B but you are going to write it only once so this set has all the elements of a as well as all the elements of b so this is the answer for a union b now in this question uh, we have basically proved this property i have obtained a union b which is the left hand side this is left side of this equation and this is right side of this equation technically left hand side should be equal to right hand side so the answer for left hand side the answer for left hand side a union b is this now i am going to so find the answer for right hand side which is b union a so right hand side which is b union a is the set b union the set a now in union you are going to write or combine the elements of a and b both of the elements of the set b and a will be combined in a single set so i have written these elements in ascending order one is not present in this set this is b so one is present in the set a so starting from one then two is absent in a but two is present in b so two will be written then three is in a in b as well as in a so the next number will be three four is not present in any one of them five is present in b five is present in a and then seven is present in both the sets 
Now you have observed that if a number like 2 is present in one of the set but 2 is not present here. But you have to write 2 in the answer of union. That means union means write all the elements of both the sets in a single set. If, if, if an element is present in only one set like 2 is present in B but it is not present in the other set that will not affect your answer you have to include 2 in the union of both A and B B and A sorry over here but if an element is present in both the sets like 3 is present in both the sets even then you are going to write it only once so if an element is present only once write it once if an element is present twice mean in both the sets you are going to write it only once so this set contain all the elements of B as well as of A. Now you can see that this is the right hand side 1, 2, 3, 5, 7. This is right side while the left side is 1, 2, 3, 5, 7. The left side. So the left side which was A union B is equal to right side which is B union A. Now this is proof of commutative property of union. Now in the next question a similar one the part question number two says we have been given these three sets in question number two now in question number two a is one two three four five six b is two four six eight c is one four eight now we have to prove that a union B is equal to B union A, commutative property of union for set A and B. Now, in this we are going to apply the property on the set A and B. So, left side is A union B, A union B, write the set A, write the symbol of union, then write the set B and then write the answer and this answer should have all the elements of A as well as of B. Now you can see that 1, 1, 2, we have got 2, then 3, so you have got 3, then 4, you have got 4, then 5, you have got 5, then 6, you have got 6, then 2 we have got 2 already no need to write it again 4 is already in the answer 6 is already over here and 8 was missing so add 8 over here so this is answer for left hand side of A union B so when you will do B union A write B first this is the set B union write set A now this is A because here you have got A on the second number. So, A will be written here. So, when you will combine them, the answer will be the same as this one. So, in this way you can prove these properties of commutative property of union and uh, intersection. Of intersection, we are going to discuss it over here. Now, what is the commutative property of intersection? Now, it is almost similar like that other than the difference of intersection over here. So, A intersection B is equal to B intersection A. This is commutative property but of intersection represented by this symbol. This is the symbol for interaction. Inverted U. So, apply it in a problem if A is equal to 1, 3, 5, 7, B is equal to 2, 3, 5, 7 find A intersection B. Now, intersection mean you have to take out common numbers. So, just to see in the example left hand side of this property. Now, this is commutative property as we have discussed uh, just uh, a little bit before. So, from this property select the left side and then select the right side turn wise first of all working on the left side left side is a intersection b 
So write down the set A. Now this should be intersection. Excuse me for that. This is intersection. So here you should have a ball. You should have intersection symbol over here as well as over here. So this is the set A. Intersection the set B. Now intersection mean just figure out the common elements in these two sets. So common elements mean the elements which are present in both these sets. So one is present in A but one is not present here in B. We are looking for those elements which are present in both. Intersection mean present in both. 3 is present in A, 3 is present in B. So 3 will be the part of the answer because it is present in both the sets. 5 is present in A, 5 is present in B. So 5 will be answer. It should be part of the answer which is present in both. 5 is present in both the sets. So your answer will contain all those elements which are part of both the sets. Then we have got 7 in A, 7 in B. So this is answer for A intersection B and this contains those elements which are part of both A and B. Now moving towards the right side. Right side is B intersection A. The difference is first of all you will write B, then you will add intersection symbol and then write A and then choose the elements which are present in both like 3 is present in B, 3 is present in A. So 3 because it is present in both the sets, so 3 will be part of the answer. 5 is present in B, 5 is present in A. So the element which is present in both the sets is part of answer in case of intersection. Then 7 is present in B, 7 is present in A. So 7 will also be the part of the answer. The one thing over here is that 2 is present in B but 2 is not present here. So 2 is not part of the answer in case of intersection. However, it was part of answer in union. So union includes all the elements while intersection includes only common elements present in both the sets. Similarly, the rest of the examples are same. So this is the basic concept of uh, commutative property of union and intersection on two sets. Thank you so much.